It was no secret that JMU was disappointed after last week's loss against William & Mary. Tonight, they came focused on Villanova, a team they lost to last year on the road. Mickey Matthews definitely ready to put last week's tough loss behind him. We'll pick it up with 8.29 left in the first quarter. Quarterback Michael Birdsong hands the ball off to Khalid Abdullah for a six-yard touchdown run. The extra point is good, and the Dukes are on top 7-0. To Two minutes later, Villanova begins to make some noise. Quarterback John Robertson finds Kevin Goyas for an 18-yard pass. The extra point would tie it up seven apiece. Into the second quarter we go, Jamie leading 14 to seven. John Robertson tosses it off to Gary Underwood and he says, nah, -uh. he then throws it to Kevin Guyas, tying the game 14 apiece. Onto the fourth quarter, Jamie leading 24-14 with 5.50 left in the quarter. DeAndre Smith comes up big with the 86-yard reception, would run it in for a touchdown and JMU would be on top. 31-14 with 5.50 left in the game. 1.16 left in the game. John Robertson finds Ernest Petway for a 14-yard pass, but it would be too little too late. The JMU Dukes beat the Villanova Wildcats 31-21. to uh, JMU, you know, played uh, a very, very good game. Uh, I think they... Uh, Maybe, maybe played the best game they've played all year. Um, they're uh, very physical. Uh, I think uh, Birdsong did a real nice job. Uh, they had a nice mixture of pass and run. Uh, their defense was uh, very tenacious. Uh, we did make some, some plays on them, but not consistent and not enough uh, to win the game. We just needed to beat a good football team. We need to play four quarters, you know, and, and uh, specifically, I think anyone who was in Williamsburg, we needed to move the ball. You know, we played a great defensive game last week. We played very well tonight. You know, we're playing very well on defense. We just needed to move the ball, you know, and we'll be fine. And uh, that that was the biggest Scott difference. But we did play four I think anyone who's, you know, you guys have watched us all season, that, that's uh, the most consistent game we played this year through 60 minutes. Uh, we well, played well today. We did everything we needed to. I had time back there in the pocket. Wide receivers were getting open. Boys were running up front, and you know, execution. That's what happens. You know, we had a good defensive game, you know, last week, and we had to, you know, get better this week. So preparation was just really important for you know the D line to get that rush, and their offensive line is probably the best we faced this year. So that's a testament to um, our game planning and you know how hard the guys play up front. So uh, it's it's rough up there in the trenches, man. It's real. It's rough, but uh, they did good today. We won one out of four. Uh, we got three games left, so um, there is no, in our minds, there is no, you know, you can lose one of these last three and still get in. We have to, you know, I, I like to go on a short, a short bet, so we have to go out here and win these next three, and it's, you know, it's no secret or no science down to it. It's just, you know, absolute win these next three and let everything take care of itself. The Dukes are in action next Saturday as they head up north to New Hampshire. They face the Wildcats at 1230 on NBC Sports Network. At Bridgeforth Stadium, Bradford Ambrose, The Breeze Video HD.